Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Kel here. All right, apology for the bit late this morning. All right, there's some uh, technical error. I need to restart my computer. All good. Can you hear me loud and clear? If yes, give me a thumbs up, everybody. Okay, good morning to everybody. All right. Okay, now today is a very special day. Today is a very special day. You know what day is that? Anybody know? Today is a very, very special day. Black Friday. <laughs> Correct. Yes, today is the Friday the 13th. Yes, Friday the 13th. So the thing is this, uh, <clears throat> as you know, to mom people, it's just for the Chinese, it's just a normal, special, normal day. But to the Western power, this is a pretty bad day, right? But apparently, I just saw one of the very famous um, world, uh, considered an Asian renowned Feng Shui master. He tells it that okay, today, also for the Chinese metaphysics, it's not a very good day. So today, apparently, uh, let me just scroll away what he say. I won't quote his name because I may be <laughs> saying the wrong thing. All right, today is this received death and also white tiger stars. Okay, so guys, just go slow. Okay, now I'm not saying that it will be a bad day. Oh, is it in Robert? It's the uh, Russia big sales, huh? Robert, yeah, in Russia now, I remember that, yes. Okay, so whatever it is, guys, the thing is this, I have said this uh, pretty clearly. If you can, try to avoid having any big position on the long side on the US market, all right, or the stock market. Now, I received some of y'all texting me on the side regarding about uh, should you hold your US shares or Singapore portfolio, and uh, my, I'm, not an F, I'm, not a, I'm not an MES licensed personnel, I'm not licensed in any fence. I'm just a regular guy. But since you asked me on disclaimer note, my personal take is this, take your profit and go. Seriously, there's no much good reason now for now till then. Now there's something I need to share with you on the current Trump administration part itself. Now the thing is this, uh, I'll cover on this coming Sunday during my MAO weekend. But do you know that there's a reason why Donald Trump sacked his defense secretary? You know, there's a reason for that. And of course he sacked another two more person recently, right? You look carefully at his game plan. He is just basically clearing house to go for something. All right. There is a possibility that he's trying to aim towards making the votes uh, not counted, which means that right, both sides don't get it. So when both sides don't get it, <clears throat> what will happen? It will go to the court. Now you understand why he's playing this game. Why is he putting people up to the high court? Because he probably know that there is a possibility of him losing this election. So if the numbers go below 270, for some reason, okay, for some reason, then there is a possibility that this will settle in court. And of course, you know, uh, in a court, right, that apparently Trump do have a bit of saying power there with all his people there. So I'm trying to say this, guys, just take, your, take my little sharing with a, with a little strife. Just make sure that you don't hold too big position over the weekend, okay? And of course, the current coronavirus numbers are really, really uh, getting a little bit out of hand, okay? Let's just go right now to the... Uh, yes, I will show that, Mike, uh, this uh, Joe, I'll show that, all right? Okay, let's go to our daily MAO, okay, let's do my sharing. Here we go. Okay, can you see my PowerPoint slide? Yes? Yeah, okay, by the way, <laughs> um, morning MAO, I understand that some of you are exercising, you are flexing your muscle, but then there was some little, little sharing and complaint from our ladies. Say that guys, unless you have the bob of rain or you have the face of some super actor, if not, go slow with your body showing, okay? So guys, do take note of that, okay? If you are not well clothed, you can just off the cameras, then we do I MAO, mean, okay? Clear? Okay, let's continue then. Okay, today is Friday the 13th, obviously, so it's a very interesting day. Of course, no need to get too worried about that. As usual, please give me a disclaimer right now because I want you guys to understand this. Now, I understand that more and more people are coming on board every morning to listen to me. I am very flattered by this. But at the same note itself, right, I also want to tell you that not everything is 100%, okay? I'm just sharing you my personal take. So if any time, if I do share things that you are not you know, comfortable with or you disagree, then we just take it a, uh, take it a form like, okay, we, we live on one another, okay? You just let me find my, suddenly I can't find my Zoom messages. Right? Where you go? Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Disclaimer. Okay. Most of you have done a disclaimer. Thank you so much. We have 63 people online right now. Okay. 
So the thing is this, um, fear is creeping in. All right. <clears throat> now, two days ago, I've been telling you guys that the coronavirus number really is moving up from 100,000 to 120 to 144 right, per day in US alone. Okay, not about the world, but just US alone. And of course, um, I, I said this, and of course, <clears throat> people just say that, come on, the media is not um, exercising this, there's nothing to worry about. Now, guys, this is how it works, you see. If the media wants to sell something, they will make sure you pump with all the good stuff first so that you will go in to buy, right, based on the news. And they will be the ones selling it to you, okay? Now, when they have sold finish and they have shorted, now, sold is when they have a buy order, they have buy position, they sell to you, they clear out to zero. When they short something, is that they short, meaning they sell more so that they're holding a negative position. And then you are buying. Then they release the bad news. The prices so-called comes down. Now, prices do not move up and down based on news. This is rubbish. Prices move because when the news comes up, the boys will take the extra step to bring the price down. Yes. You think about this. If you don't sell, I don't buy. Even we had the worst news in the world, not, neither, neither of us doing anything, the, the price of stock will not come down. The exchange is not going to tell you that, oh, because of this news, we will we will alter the price of that price. There's no such things, okay? No such things. That's why is that this is how the boys play this, this motivating game. They will exercise something to you first. Then after that, right, when they come on the news that is bad or they create this news that's bad, then they'll bring the price down, causing you to panic, and then you will start to short or sell. Uh, that is where they took the other side again to buy back position. It's always this happening. This is how the boys play this game. So I look at the chart right now. <clears throat> okay. This is the Dow Jones chart. For you yesterday about the doji, right? How many of you profited from the doji? Yesterday, the doji was, the day before the doji was here, I told you, right, if the market breaks below OP, no matter what you tell me, you just sell and sell and sell and sell and sell. How many of you profit from that? If you profit from the yesterday sharing, please key the word P-R-O-F-I-T, profit into the group chat. Let me see how many of you have done that. Okay. Wow, not bad. Not bad. Adrian, Faith, H-Y, Allison. Is that all? <laughs> I have 67 people yesterday and only five. Uh, Ivan, is that all? Five. <laughs> Okay, Jacqueline, King Hua. Yes, King Hua, you posted in the group chat of our, uh, our, our group chat. Okay, that's all. Only eight. <clears throat> you see, guys, this is what I tell you. I can tell you the best thing in the world, <clears throat> but you will not believe in me. Because why? Because what we do here is uh, we always go ahead of what the market does. We are always following the boys. The boys do what we just strictly just follow. And because of that, okay, we will get the best price. But by the time you react because of today's news, oh yeah, we should have short. Then, but it's too low now. Should I short? You ask me again, but we are already in position. Yeah, we are already in position. So seriously, if the Dow goes down to all this point here is all right, probably we'll add some position. Probably we are not gonna add position, but we are already in profit. That's the difference between trading with the boys and trading you know, on your own perspective. That is the point that I want to share you, with you today. Now, for today, my, pers my personal take is this. Thank you, Andrew. You also make profit good. To me, the Dow today will test here. I repeat, the Dow will test 28,808. Um, oh, nice number. <laughs> okay, the Dow should be testing this figure, 28,808. Now, where are we now? We are 29,000. So, how huh, Cal? You're talking about another 200 points drop from here? Yes, another 200 points here. Now, what is my take? Now, basically what we saw was yesterday, the way this tail. Now, this tail basically was created in the last 45 minutes, which I think Joe requested me to share you, right? Okay, let me just share you now what happened. Okay, All right. Hold on, give me a short moment. 15 minutes and the chart. See, you see this one? I mean, I was, okay, trust me, I was really sleeping. Then after that, about 4 a.m., my alarm clock woke, I was too tired. Then I saw the Dow was around here. I said, okay, fine, in good profit. Then suddenly this morning, I wake up, like, what is this? Okay, then the news came out because Disney came out with 78 million subscribers. Now, I mean, seriously, 78 million subscribers is a lot. It's really a lot. But the problem is, my personal take is this, is that, well, we all seen such a thing like Netflix, all this, they have initially, wow, a lot of people subscribing, but after that, if they fail to, you know, uh, continue, well, that's where it happens. 
All right, so let me see if I can bring you Disney chart. Let me just, uh, okay, Disney thing came out after market, so it wouldn't be reflected over here. Oh, see the Dow is coming off already, yeah? Okay, now the thing is this, this was based cause of Disney news, okay? All right, there was something here, but now the thing is this, the market, you can't tell me one single stock itself will be able to carry the whole market, right? So I'm quite, um, I'm, I'm not that convinced I'll put it this way. Okay, so uh, that was happened. Okay, now look at our PSV chart here. Now today our PSV chart tell us very clearly. Oh, let me just bring that up to you. <laughs> okay, am I? Uh, who is that? Oh, we have seventy people today. Wow, break all time morning record. Okay, thank you. Okay, now today the PSV chart tells me that two nine zero six seven is two nine zero six seven is a very very important critical level to watch. If the Dow Jones can stay above 29067, the Dow can still recover, okay, can still recover. But if the Dow Jones break 2967, 29067, which is just marginally away, then I'm going to tell you that the Dow will sell. The Dow will sell. I repeat, okay, the Dow will sell. Now it's already, oh, see, flashing ready, flashing ready, color already flashing, okay. So look at the 15-minute chart. You can see that the market is testing the pivot level, right? Now you can see as the market is testing, the boys are coming in to buy. Hey, why late? Because I say, now this is a very important technical level. That's why the boys come in to buy. So you can see our KSI chart is totally really out of the world. Normally, when the price comes down, all indicators in the world will point downward. Let me show you a normal indicator like this. Okay, let's say RSI example, okay? You see that? When the market comes down, the indicator points downward. That is very normal, right? But not our indicator. Because our indicator already tells us that, right, there is some buying buoyancy here. But nonetheless, it's not, right? As traders of PSV, now the market breaks below the OP, breaks below the P1, you can take a short position. Stop loss can you put right here. You can take a short position. Aim for the KTR minus one level, okay? Or if not, KTR minus two, which is the very near to my target of 28080, level, all right? Okay, so that is the um, Dow Jones. I leave it to you to decide. Okay, it's live trading now today. Live trading. Oh my God. Now, this is NASDAQ. NASDAQ, as you can see yesterday, it has stayed with the MA30, but now it's pulling back. And uh, my personal take is this if the MA, if the market, the NASDAQ breaks yesterday low, then we'll be selling back to the MA30 again. MA30 today is 11,674. 11,674. Look for that for buying opportunity. If the market do come there, do that for some short covering, okay? All right, the S&P 500, because somebody asked me why I missed it out. Okay, my bad, okay, my bad. The high to high to high triggered four days ago. So that's why you have this significant pullback. Now, this is a very strong reversal candle, which I think any chart will tell you that this is really not good. So the thing is this, uh, if it's not good, right, usually what I do is I'll put a closing price line here, which is that I'll put a closing price here, right? Can you see that? Oh, sorry, um, I put it here. Closing price. So this tells me that, right, if the market is going to stay up, it will go up further. But the problem is this, MA30 is always, huh? what is the NASDAQ MA30 number? <laughs> okay. You guys must hear me loud and clear, right? Okay. MA30 number will be 11.674 for today. All right. It moves every day. All right. It moves every day. Oh, guys, you guys must pay attention to my thing, right? If not, you will miss out and I can't go back again, you know, like news like that. Okay, so what happened is I put a level at the closing price and yesterday the S&P 500 closed below the level. So which means that uh, whoever been buying from the tail top to the tail closing, uh, all right, are all losing money at off now. Now, this is bad. The market will flip. If the market flip, then basically based on my personal expectation, we could see this happening okay i could see this happening right the length of this one that is about one box one box two box two about three boxes down huh? so from where we are now about one two three yes around there so which means that likely s p 500 will test the ma30 again now what is the ma30 level for today the ma30 level is oops on okay come on okay Three, four, five, five. Three, four, five, five. That means we're talking about 80 points from here. 80 points from here. Now, of course, I don't expect it to happen today. I do suspect it will happen today across the Monday. So why do I say that here all? Uh, let me just bring this to you. Uh, where are we? Hold on a minute. Okay, here we go. 
you can take a look, guys. Now, this is the today's number. This is uh, to now number of 130,000. Yesterday is 144. The day before is 142. All right. Seriously, this number is really, really crazy. And the thing is this, I realized that to the total recovery is actually not moving much at all. So there's 3 million, 3.8 million cases now in US still moving on. The problem is that now the Democrats are now basically trying to, the, the country US is very divided, very divided. Then Republicans and, Repo and the Democrats are just basically on the street yelling and shouting each other. Now what is gonna go crazy is this, if really, really happened, if Donald Trump have a way to really show that he might have a slim chance of winning back the thing, uh, the Republican will go on the street and yell and yell, and the police will come in, and if they, they happen to have any riots, oh my God, three areas, the police, the, the Democrats, the Republican will all be shouting their lungs out without their mask, obviously, and that the virus will go even crazier. Now, this is very, very, very scary today. Oh, thank you, my friend, iPhone. 159 cases, okay, um, I don't see that updated, let me just refresh again, maybe I'm wrong, let's see the thing is this, but this is scary, like, my friend, this is very scary, wow, you're right, 159,000, okay, that means that the 150 number has been rich, that means that careful already, now be very careful, the thing is this, um, if you saw what Jim Cramer said, which very rarely I agree with him, but he did mention this, what if there is a lockdown? And I tell you this, there's a very high chance. Why is that so? Look at what Biden actually advisor did say to Biden. He said that, right, the only way to save this thing here is really a total lockdown again. Yeah, we may be hit, but we solve the problem. If we continue this, we will get ourselves killed. I mean, get ourselves hit very badly. It makes a lot of sense, I'll put it this way. If they do not shut down completely, seriously, like what China did, then I'm going to tell you this, US will have the economy going down later again. It's just a matter of time. So it makes a lot, a lot of sense, okay, for what I'm seeing right now. So if you lock down, you should know what will happen. Oh my God, it's going to go nut case, okay? Now, next thing is this, the buyers are coming in. Now, apparently gold prices is not right. Apparently that is the Diwali, right? Today, I mean, tomorrow, it is the holiday, the, the, uh, the Bavali, Diwali. And uh, usually during this period of time, gold prices do go up normally, yeah? normally, okay? So the thing is that there seems to be some... Um, support. So yesterday they say sell, today they say support. You see this how how uh, <laughs> BS these people are doing. But nonetheless, let's bring the gold chart right now. Now I can't see support uh, honestly. I repeat, I cannot see support. I only see that intermittent buying, black, white, black, white. Okay, that's all I can see. So what I'm trying to say is that right. The thing is this is a very consolidated area. There is definitely support. Now I told you yesterday, right? One eight six two, very important level. One eight six two. Remember that. So those who remember that 1862 is a very strong support, yesterday the gold price hit 1862 and then rebounded right there to close higher at 1877 area, right? Anybody remember that? If you remember that I say 1862 is a very important support level, please key gold, G-O-L-D into the group chat. If you remember that I say that 1862 is a very, very important level that the gold must hold. Thank you so much guys for your support and remembering what I say. Okay, the thing is this, now the nice cuts both way. If one six two is a strong support, it must stay as a strong support, which means that it cannot cannot break. Now mark my word. Make sure you write somewhere. If you go intraday, smash below one six two, and you don't see any recovery over there, it will sell. I repeat one more time. If go breaks one six two intraday today or Monday, and then you don't see any form of recovery at one six two, then you better run. Okay, better run. So where will gold go if it really goes down? My personal take is this. I told you before, the first level, you go down to the moving average 200, and that will be about 1854, okay? Now, every day, this ME is moving gradually, yeah? 1854. So that level will be a level to watch out for, but if the market close below 1854, then the next level, if they go down, will be 1840. I repeat, 1840, okay? All right, 1840. Yeah, let me just write it down for all of you guys. One, eight, four, zero. Okay, Ken? All right. Now, the thing is this, some people ask me, Kel, if you are bearish in the US market for the coronavirus, do you suspect that the gold price may be going up because people be buying on that? Um, I would say yes, in a way, because if let's say the coronavirus really hits US very hard and then Federal Reserve has to come in to show in again, the dollar will depreciate. And of course, the gold price will go up. 
But the thing is this, we always know that the Federal Reserve will not come in immediately. They'll come in only when things really happen, like, you know, they feel like saving the world or that. So I don't think it happens so soon. But I can tell you this, if the equity market do come down, gold will come down first. So I suspect that this will be the movement, which means that, right, if later on, if equity market do fall, gold will follow through. Then what happened? Then the Federal Reserve come in, support the market, then we will see the recovery up. Okay, so I would prefer not to do much on the buying side unless at 1862 level, those are very important technical level. If not, I will just go slow, all right? I will not chase anywhere higher than that. Okay, but because of we are PSV traders, so we trade with the boys, hence therefore, let me just bring you the chart for today. Now today, gold chart is above OP, above uh, pivot one. So as long as gold stays above OP, for traders for today, you can still stay long position, okay? Just for today, all right? Right, because of the P1 movement, all right? So if gold stays above OP, okay, you can stay long. But if gold breaks below OP, that's out. No more already, okay? All right, very clear. Okay, I just saw the Dow coming off a bit more. Wow, it's coming a bit faster than I expected, okay? So clearly, clearly, today should see some more selling to about 128808 level, okay? All right, so that will be for gold, and that will be the end of today's uh, MAO. Same thing. Now, we have already people have um, uh, got the lucky draw. Okay, you can, you can see that. Um, all right, we have uh, 30 people, very fortunate people, lucky people. They already get their lucky draw done by Yao Tong, all right? Okay, during a Facebook Live session, and we have now more than 190 members. Let me refresh. Let me see any numbers increment. 190 people online going online now tomorrow at 10 30 a.m all right tomorrow 10 30 a.m all right so please guys if you haven't registered yet you can still register so that you can watch the emmy the the sorry the uh interview live okay or the interview live all right and of course for people who registered right later on if you are interested to go for my workshop my workshop is coming up soon right on the 21st November, next Saturday, I will do my preview. And it, because if you are a registered member of the event yes, tomorrow, okay, if you are, you will get special, special discount. I repeat, if you register here, okay, on a day trip premiere, you will get special discount, okay? So guys, if you really want to become my student and get me giving you full updates on market outlook and movements right, and directions, then you just register to day trip premier, go through the interview. If you're busy, never mind, at least you register. So what happened is that when I have my preview next Saturday, you will be able to get good discount, okay? All right, okay, before that itself, today I was a little busy. I couldn't give you a quote of the day, but for not, I'll give you the action of the day today is this, guys. If the Dow Jones stay below OP today, the Dow will be going towards the 28808 level. Okay, then that will be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, morning MAO. Apology for something late this morning. I'll try to do something to it. All right, guys, I take, you take care. Today is Friday 13. Okay, if you're drinking, drive safely. All right, don't drink and drive, in fact. Okay, all right, guys, take care, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.